Hi friends, today I have a special story for you called The Leopard's Drum. It's an Asante tale from West Africa, and I'm not just going to read it, I'm going to drum along to the story too. I have a special drum here. It's a djembe style drum, which is a style of drum from West Africa. And every time in the story, we hear the word drum, we're gonna give our drums one loud The leopard's drum. So I hope you all get out a drum at home with me to play along. And then there's some different animals in the story. There's a snake. And when we see the snake in the story, we're gonna play our drums like this. Does it sound like the slithering of a snake? There's a big elephant in the story and we all know elephant have big heavy feet. So when we see the elephant, we'll make the sound of its big heavy feet. There's a monkey in the story and the monkey is tricky and playful through the jungle. So we're gonna hear their little scampering feet. All right, you're gonna see my drum on the screen to help you remember the animal sounds. Let's read the story now. The Leopard's Drum. Osebo the leopard was fierce, proud, and boastful. He made a huge drum, and he played it every day. Animals came from near and far to see it. It was a magnificent drum, the best they had ever seen. They all wished it belonged to them. Even Niame, the sky god, wanted it. Osebo, he said, that is a wonderful drum. I should have a drum like that. Will you give me your drum? No, said Osebo. Will you lend me your drum? No, said Osebo. Will you let me try your drum? But Osebo said, no. You should respect me, Osebo. I am the sky god. Animals of the forest, whoever brings me that drum, will get a big reward. And Niame disappeared. Oh, here comes the snake. It's a python. Remember how we make the snake sound? The next day, Onini the python went to get the drum. Looking for me, Onini? Oh, er... Uh... No, oh, Sabo, just looking at your fine drum, your huge drum, your magnificent drum. Good day, oh, Sabo. There's the elephant. Remember the elephant sound? The next day, Isono the elephant went to get the drum.
Looking for me, Isono? Oh, er, uh, no, Osebo. Just admiring your fine drum. Your huge drum? Your magnificent drum, Osebo. Goodbye, Osebo. Oh. There's that trickster. Remember, we're going to do the tricky, sneaky feet. The next day, something strange moved slowly through the forest. The animals were puzzled. Some were frightened. What is it? They whispered. Whoever can it be? It was Asroboa, the monkey, going to get the drum. He hoped Osibo would not see him behind the mask. Looking for me, Asroboa? Oh, no, Osibo, uh, just looking, uh, fine, uh, a huge, uh, magnificent, ah. Uh. Last of all, Achi Cherry, the tortoise, went to get Osebo's drum. You haven't got a chance, the other animals said. Not a titchy little weedy little creature like you. It was true. The tortoise was very small, and in those days, her shell was quite soft. She had to watch out that careless animals didn't squash her flat. Can we make a very careful small, gentle movement on the drum. Well, I'm going to try anyway, she said. Looking for me, Achi Cherry? Oh, not really, Asebo. I was just looking at this drum. Yes, don't you think it's a fine, huge, magnificent drum, Achi Cherry? Well, it's all right, I suppose, for a middle-sized kind of drum, Osebo. Middle-sized? You ridiculous creature. Don't you know this is the biggest, the best drum in the forest. Well, said Achi Cherry, I've heard that Niame's got a bigger drum. What? said Osebo. Oh, yes. It is so big he can climb right inside it and not one bit of him sticks out. Well, I can climb right inside mine, said Osebo. Just watch. Osebo began to squeeze himself into the drum. Am I inside, Achi Cherry? No, not nearly, Osebo. Now, Achi Cherry? No, not quite, Osebo. Now, Achi Cherry? Oh, yes, Osebo, now you're inside, but you can't get out. And Achi Cherry sealed the drum with a large cooking pot. Now I'm going to take you to the Sky God. Slowly, Achi Cherry pushed the enormous drum with the heavy leopard inside it all the way to Neame. We can make that slow. Here is Osebo's drum, Naomi, and Osebo is inside. Well done, said Naomi. No one else could get the drum. And you have taught that boastful leopard a lesson. Let him go now 
and decide what you would like as your reward. Achi Cherry looked around. All the other animals were looking jealous and cross. She thought for a moment. Please, Naame, she said. Most of all, I would like a hard shell to protect me from fierce animals. Naomi laughed and gave her a tough, hard shell. And Achi Cherry the tortoise still wears it today. The end.